ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And I got in my hot little hands, OPG Platinum Blaster Boxes, because why the hell not? All right, I know what you're thinking. If you hated these so much, why would you get retail? I really don't have an answer for you other than I'm just curious. So I just noticed something. One of these boxes I picked up at Target and one of them I picked up at uh, Meyer, which is like even better than a Target. So if a Target is like a Walmart where you have to wear shoes and not dress up in pajamas, a Meyer is like one step below maybe a Macy's. That's not quite that nice, but it is a lot nicer and a lot better. So I can't tell you which one came from where, but I, I do want you to notice how well centered the pictures on the side of the box are. So we'll have to use that as a reference for what's inside because I don't know if the retail, I haven't seen anybody open any retail. I haven't been looking for it, honestly, but I can't tell you if uh, they're centered or they're an off-center mess like everything else. Four cards per pack, six packs. So these are more, so these are more in line with the uh, old school uh, OPG Platinum to these gigantic packs that we got with the hobby pack, hobby box. Well, there's something different. So there's the red, what are we calling this? The red surge. Will there be one in every pack? I guess we'll find out. Menji Pani, there's a marquee rookie. Trevor Zegers, the first cool card we pull and it's off center like a mother Red surge, marquee, yeah. So instead of a red prism, it's a red surge. A marquee rookie here. Jack Akin and considerably off center as well. Pack number two that I don't know where it came from. <laughs> okay. So we got a Cole Caulfield sweet selection. Marquee rookie Studnik, Marion Studnik. And it uh, looks like we've got a Matt Pink, Matt Pink, Gabe Velarde. And then Tristan Jari here. So pack number three, we got another one of these uh, red surges here. Sidney Crosby, Parker Kelly. The Marquee Ricky. Parker Kelly, it just sounds like, uh, you know, a, a cowboy name or something, right? Then our Red Surge, Matt Grizzly, and Bass. All right, Dry Sidle, Oscar Steen. This has been a really Bruins heavy Marquee Rookie affair for this first box. Philip Hornick with the Red Wings and base. All right, two packs to go. I gotta be honest with you guys. I didn't expect, I didn't expect all these inserts. We got a photo driven Trevor Zegras. Holy crap. Look how off-centered this piece of shit is. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? What is that, Private Pile? Sir, Jelly Donuts, sir! Wow. Red Surge, Kirill Kaprizov. Holy Lord. Last pack of our Red Surges. Looks like we got a rainbow here. This is Barry, Sean, Mo Sean Monahan with the uh, the rainbow. I spilled the beans. We got a Kyle Burrows, Marquee Rookie, Hot Magma, three ninety nine out of four ninety nine. Did not expect to get a numbered card out of there. All right, so that's the end of the red. Let's look at the blue. You know what? Just for sake of keeping things simple. 
I think the red came from Target because their colors are red and Meyer. I don't really know what color Myers is. All right, six packs, here we go. The rainbow right off the pack, right off the... <laughs> we got a rainbow right off the drop here with uh, Andrei Shvechnikov. Then a hot magma Philip Zadina. Looks like the Meyer cards are not any better centered. Cam York Marquee Rookie. This box of cards seems to be harder to open. Taylor Hall, Logan Thompson, we got a blue Surge Garrett Pilon Marquee Rookie. I, can, I like the blue ones better than the red. What do you guys think? Yeah, I like the blue ones better. Let me know in the comments which ones you like better, blue or red. Platinum die cut, Sidney Crosby. And uh, what did we get? A sunset, Jacob Bernard Docker, marquee rookie. Cool. Jonathan Dolan, marquee rookie. Marc Andre Fleury. Here's McCarr, Garrett Pilon again, the marquee rookie. And we got a really officer. We got O'Reilly. We got O'Reilly. <laughs> we got way O'Reilly. Holy crap. Now look, the back is pretty well centered. How come you can't get the front that way? Come on, guys. Ugh. All right, two packs to go. Hey, to be perfectly honest with you, I opened a hobby box, paid $200 for it. I didn't get that many marquee rookies that are uh, parallels. So Dumba, Mason, McTavish, marquee rookie. Now that's a cool card. Alex Newhook, rookie, retro. All right, last one, best one. Give it a little spanking, give it a little rubbing. Adam Henrique, R2 Rustelainen in the sweet selections. And hot dog Phil, and oh my God. That is pathetic, upper deck. Come on, that looks like shit. That is absolutely pathetic how far off center that is. The back's even worse. <laughs> Fuck, what would that get? Like a, a PSA 3? Good God. Svechnikov. So out of the two boxes, we've got a bunch of marquee rookies, including two surges and this JBD Sunset marquee rookie. Got the Sidney Crosby die cut here. Got two rainbows. I guess got one out of each box. Got one sweet selection out of each box. Only got one photo driven. Got this one out of the first box, I believe. The, the, uh, the one we think is Target. Gabe Velarde, Matt Pink. Got two hot magmas, one out of each box, each number to $4.99. So the uh, marquee rookie, Kyle Burroughs, $3.91 to $4.99. And then the Philip Sedina, four out of $4.99. Couple of retros, one of them being an Alex Newhook rookie card. So we get three surges in each box, red surges. We got a marquee rookie, Jack Akin. And then in the blue box, we got a Garrett Pilon. And then this absolutely pitiful, pitiful, pitiful quality controlled hot dog fill. All right, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, that's the break. Um, look, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I was, I was surprised by what we got out of these retail blasters. I think uh, me personally, I've already decided I'm not gonna get another hoppy box of this shit. I think you're just throwing money down the down the hopper if you do the uh, quality control on these. I mean, look at this one. Terrible, shameful. Uh, I don't believe in conspiracy theories. You know, I've been listening to people say they do it on purpose. It keeps the values of the cars down and all that. I think that's nonsense. It's garbage. 
it's it's easy to talk about conspiracies, harder to prove them. It's way easier to explain things like this away with just pure incompetence. And I think that's probably what it is. So, all right, guys. Hey, if you like this video, please like this video. And don't forget to hit that subscription button. We are on a quest to hit 1,000 subscribers. And as, the as of the recording of this video, we're only a few away from our first goal of 500 so please help me out and hit that and keep the comments coming i love interacting with the community and make sure you hit those notifications so you can get updates on cool stuff like this